Hello boys and girls, I have an exciting science story to read you today. As I mentioned this morning in our science lesson, we are going to read a story about the life cycle of the ladybug. It is called Ladybugs by Gail Gibbons. So let's take a look. What do you see on the front cover? I see a ladybug sitting on a leaf. So what do you think the story is going to be about? If you guessed ladybugs, you are correct. Let's get started. Ladybugs by Gail Gibbons. A flower gently sways in the breeze. A small bug is looking for food. It's a ladybug. And here's a ladybug sitting on a leaf. Many ladybugs fly and move about looking for food. They eat aphids and other insects such as scales and mites that are harmful to plants. And you can see here in this picture, up here the little green insects, these are aphids. And here the little white insects are mites and down here are scales. A ladybug is a beetle. The hard outside of an adult ladybug's body protects its soft insides. A beetle is an insect with a hard outside covering and two sets of wings. So they have the red, red wings with black spots and then they have wings that are folded up underneath those. A ladybug's body side view. Like other insects, a ladybug's body has three main parts. They are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And you can see here the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The wings are on their abdomen. The male ladybugs are smaller than the female. The antennas are used for touching, tasting, and smelling. Strong jaws help the ladybugs to eat other insects. Ladybugs have six short legs that have sticky pads of hair at the ends. The ladybug has two sets of wings. The outer wings are hard and protect their inner wings. The inner wings are delicate and are used for flying. And their wings are, the wings are here, the outer wings, the inner wings, the thorax, their abdomen. Different kinds of ladybugs. You can see in this picture some of the different colors that the ladybugs can be. Ladybugs can be many different colors and sizes. Some are as small as the head of a pin. That's very tiny. Others can be as large as a child's fingernail. Most are some sizes between. So here is a two-spotted ladybug, four-spotted ladybug, yellow-spotted ladybug, black two-dotted ladybug, a molted ladybug, a banded ladybug, this one has stripes, and the seven spotted ladybugs. This is the most common one. If you go outside in your garden or out in your yard, this is probably the ladybug that you're going to see. They live on six of the seven continents. Many scientists believe there are more than 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs around the world. They also believe there are 475 different kinds of ladybugs on the continents of North America where we live. So ladybugs are everywhere except for the continent of Antarctica. This is the spotless ladybug, 
orange spotted ladybug, an ash gray ladybug, and the black three spotted ladybug. Four stages from egg to adult ladybug. Ladybugs mate in spring and summer. A ladybug finds its mate by scent rather than sight. So they smell until the male finds a female that he wants to be with. About one week after mating, the female ladybug lays her eggs. And we already talked about they lay them on the bottom side of their leaf to protect them. Female ladybugs lay her yellow eggs in a safe place. And she wants to find a leaf that has aphids near it. So when the babies are born, they will have food to eat. The female ladybug, she lays her eggs and then she flies away. She doesn't stay with her eggs. And here's a leaf. It has eggs and it has aphids on it. During the next week, the eggs turn from yellow on this page to white. The second state. is the larvae. After a few days, the eggs are ready to hatch. The thin shell begins to split open. The ladybug larvae crawl out. They eat their eggshells and begin eating aphids. And there's the larvae and they're eating the aphids that were on the leaf they were born. One larvae can eat about 30 aphids in one day. A larva eats so much that its outside covering becomes too tight. And what do you think is gonna happen? The outside covering splits and it sheds. A new larger outside covering takes its place. This is called molting. We learned about molting with the lady, the painted lady caterpillars, and the and the cicadas, and now the ladybugs we learn do it too. The larvae continues to eat, and getting it gets larger and larger. It may molt three more times before it is full grown. After molting for the last time, the larvae attaches itself to a safe place using a sticky liquid at the end of its abdomen. And what has it turned into now? It's not a larvae anymore, it's a pupa. Third stage is the ladybug larvae is now a pupa. Outside, the covering of the pupa is becoming hard. So first it's soft, then the outside covering gets hard to protect it. Inside, the lady pupa will continue to develop. It will not eat or move during this time. The last stage, the fourth stage, the ladybug life cycle. Now the ladybug pupa begins to split open its hard covering. Head first, the ladybug pulls its body out. The ladybug's body is pale and soft and has no dots. Its body slowly hardens. It's two delicate transparent inter, in, inner wings, which will be uh, used for flying, extend to dry. Then they slip back under the hard outer wings for protection. So you can see here, it has no dots. It's yellow. And the yellow is the outer wings to protect the inner delicate transparent wings. In about one hour, the ladybug is ready to live a ladybug's life 
and dots begin to appear. So at first it just crawls around and then it starts to fly. Soon the adult ladybug opens its hard wings and unfolds its flying wings. The ladybug lifts itself up into the air. It will spend its life going from plant to plant, eating aphids and other insects. Danger! A ladybug has many in enemies, including birds, frogs, and other insects. It has three major ways to defend itself or protect itself. Its bright color is nature's warning to others that this insect may be poisonous or taste bad. So here is a blue jay. It says, mmm, there's a ladybug and a praying mantis. They are looking. When a ladybug is attacked, its leg joints ooze a yellow fluid or liquid. It has a very terrible smell that keeps the enemies away. A ladybug will also pretend to be dead and then the predator will lose interest and fly away. Here is a frog. It is looking if it should try to eat the ladybug. Ladybugs must protect themselves from cold winter weather. Thousands of ladybugs find a safe, warm place, such as under a rock or nestled under leaves. Some ladybugs fly to warmer places, but not all of them. Like other insects, ladybugs are cold-blooded. Their body temperatures are controlled by the air around them. When the temperature rises above 59 degrees, the ladybug becomes active again. Gardens and farmers has always been against insects that damage their plants and crops, but they appreciate ladybugs because they eat plant damaging insects. Like aphids and other things that might be on the plants, the ladybugs eat them. In the late 1800s, many crops in California were destructive, were attacked by destructive insects. Farmers were desperate. They didn't know what to do. When lots of ladybugs were released into the fields, they ate the destructive insects. Within a year, the crops were thriving and the farmers had many crops. When farmers became, farms became larger, farmers began to use poisonous pesticides or chemicals to kill plant eating insects. With time, some farmers realized that those pesticides could be bad for crops because they damaged the soil, they polluted water, and were harmful to wildlife, including ladybugs. And this was an airplane and they used to use those a lot of times to spray chemicals on the fields to kill the insects, but it also hurt the ladybugs. Today, agriculture experts are finding safer ways to protect crops, which includes using ladybugs instead of chemicals to protect the crops. Organic foods are grown without using chemicals. Many plants have ladybugs helping them to become insect free and grow into delicious foods that we can eat. Ladybugs are beautiful to look at and interesting to watch, 
but they are also important insects to help the environment. They protect crops. Crops are the vegetables and the plants that farmers grow. And here is another picture of some different kinds of ladybugs. Thank you so much for joining me in this story about ladybugs today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to our next science lesson and our next read aloud. Bye, children. Have a great afternoon. Love you and miss you. Bye.